Okay. Questions from the public on the draft budget? Stephen. Yeah. Um, so we've all had a weather report, and the weather report is our hurricanes bearing down on us or another natural disaster. Now, I, I don't think we should panic, but I do think it is the responsible thing to have a contingency plans in place. So, uh, some of the things that I see probable is uh, that camps will be canceled uh, and our uh, uh, firemen are going to be working extra hard uh, doing uh, ambulance uh, calls. Um, you know, the data that we're getting, it's all mixed up all over the board. Probably the safety guys have more current information than I, I would, but uh, uh, they say there is a 1% mortality rate. We're in a, a community of 6,000 people. That would be 60 deaths that we would maybe experience in a very short period of time. That's, well, that's, that's a lot of ambulance calls, a lot of heartache out there. Um, even though it's uh, hurting certain populations. I'm not suggesting that you throw out everything that you have here, but I do think that saying, getting a good what if uh, uh, response together as a, is, is the responsible thing to do as opposed to hopefully the county will, will tell us what to do. I think we should, we should have this in place um, I believe, I'm going to guess, that the schools are going to be closed down within a couple of weeks, maybe after spring break, um, just the way the case is going here. The cases are actually doubling every two days, and if you think about that math, it's pretty astounding. Now we're going to, it's, it, it's going to pass. Uh, hopefully during the warm months, maybe uh, it'll go away. We don't really know at this point. But, uh, I mean, this is the subject of maybe a special meeting uh, to discuss the options here. No, nothing really should be approved with this budget until you have that contingent budget set aside because it will affect virtually everything, manpower, uh, you know, how many kids are running around here, all kinds of things. Public safety is very important. I won't bring up the public safety issue, well, I will bring up the public safety issues with the, the lack of uh, uh, basic video surveillance, locking up the bathrooms, other safety concerns. I don't know how often things get sanitized, but there sh should be, as of today, in place, you know, crews, really making sure everything is spick and span. Um, I believe children and, and the elderly are most at risk and we have a heck of a lot of kids and, and a bunch of elderly people. So let's do the responsible thing. This is the leadership that you're all called on to do and uh, you know, make us proud. Thank you, Stephen. Okay. Anything else?